Here is a story told to the children of Africa. We love the children of Africa. Teaching the children. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my wash and go routine. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my products that I'll be using. I'll link these in the description down below. But to start off, I'm going to be working on conditioning hair. This is from the night before. I'm a busy student and I don't really have time to do my entire hair wash day and style in the same day. So I'd like to wash my hair the night before and then style the next day after. So if you want to see that wash routine, I'll definitely leave the link in the description. But I'm just going to go ahead and take down these twists that I had in with my conditioner and rinse my hair out. And to start off, this routine is going to be very fast and simple. It's just conditioner, moisturizer, styling cream, and gel. So as you see here, I'm just sectioning off my hair. I like to work in four big sections. And then if I, when I get to the front, I like to make my sections a lot smaller. So I'm starting off with my leave-in conditioner. This is just for um, hair growth and repair. I just really work this conditioner through my hair and once I do that I go back and I add my moisturizing cream and this one is really good it helps to seal in the moisture and I realize that my wash and goes last a lot longer when I use this product it just makes my hair feel a lot less dry and it doesn't frizz as much so then after I apply that I will go back in with my styling cream and this is the fun part. You wanna make sure that your hair is extremely moisturized. Like if it needs more water, go ahead. Don't be scared to add water to your hair because the water is gonna to help to weigh the hair down. And then I like to finalize it with that other cream. And it's just to help with my curls. My, my hair responds a lot better when I use those two products together. So for my gel, I like to mix my gel with one of the styling creams. And this is just to prevent a lot of the um, flaking. I hate when the gel flakes off my hair and I find that whenever I mix the conditioner and the gel that my hair flakes a lot less. So as you can see here, this is my curl pattern. Yes. <laughs> All right guys, so once I work through those sections and my curl starts to form, I like to go back and twist up my hair very loosely. Um, this is just to keep the sections in sections and it doesn't mess up with my entire um, head. It just makes me move a lot faster through the entire routine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and section again. It's okay to work in smaller sections, especially when you get to the front like how I do. I work in a lot more smaller sections and that's just to prevent breakage. And as I said before, it's okay to go back and add water as you need it. As you guys can see here, I really like to take my time in the front because my hair is very thin there and it's just been like that since birth, so it's just genetics and it's what I work with. So at this point, I will normally take a shower and head out by my business. Of course, I'm going to take my hair down as you see me doing here. So um, as I take my hair down, I do have a final step, which is coming up in a few seconds. I like to use my castor oil. No, that is not wine, it's actually Jamaican castor oil. 
and I apply that to my edges and that is my little secret there. It helps to promote hair growth and I really massage that in and it's really just to prevent breakage and promote hair growth, especially in those thin parts of my hair. And then finally, I like to go in and then shake out all the excess water and that is just to help your hair dry a lot faster. I know with wash it goes, it may take like hours to dry. And y'all, I am not scared for of shrinkage I am not scared at all, so I will let that hair shrink and then I'll go back through if I need it with more water or if I want my hair to be dry a lot faster. If it's cold outside, I'll just go through with a blow dryer. But as you guys can see here, this is my hair after it's dried. Yes, the shrinkage is real. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys like it.